99.3 Nigeria Info. This is the Morning Crossfire. My name is Wemimo Adewuni. Following the chairman of Lagos State Chapter of the NERTW suspension, Lagosians have been curious to know the new body, the persons, the team now mandated to oversee and monitor the transport operations in Lagos. Now, most people, and myself inclusive, want to know if transport operators would continue paying for ticket fees or are you just free to drive around lagos without paying anybody anything anymore people also want to know if the suspension will be lifted and would there be a lasting solution to the frequent crisis occasioned by the activities of the transport unions in the state now what strategies are in place to address incessant crises arising from the activities of transport unions in the state remember that last week four days back on thursday the 10th of march uh, the government uh, the indefinite suspension of the chairman of the lagos state chapter of the nurtw uh, musili wakinsonya popularly known as mc oluomo made the rounds in a letter uh, on march 9th and the letter was signed by the general secretary of the NURTW, Kabiru Yao. The NURTW boss in Lagos was accused of inciting violence and planning attacks on branches that refused to obey his order of not accepting directives from the national headquarters of the union. Let me quote a part of that suspension letter to you. Your orchestrated plan to attack branches that may disobey your orders aforesaid will ultimately endanger public peace and order in Lagos State. It is also very likely to threaten and or affect the lives and property of the peace-loving people of Lagos State, particularly those doing their legitimate businesses within motor parks. Hence, the urgent need to take drastic actions against him. Now, the National Board of the Union directed MC Oluomo to immediately hand over the mantle of leadership to his deputy chairman and release all property belonging to the transport body in his possession to the state secretary uh, in a bid to avoid any leadership vacuum. However, uh, in a reaction uh, to his suspension over alleged misconduct, uh, also alleged uh, insubordination and inciting members of the state chapter against the apex national body uh, there was a reaction the lagos state government uh, then uh, on friday declared that it has finally suspended activities of the union following the crisis between the state and the national body of the of the of the nurtw barely two months ago january 2022 the lagos state government in a bid court to fulfill one of the cardinal objectives of the themes agenda of the present administration especially in relation to security and good governance suspended the activities of the nrtw at nyeyo remember um church street and idumota bridge indefinitely because of the violence that occurred in those areas now according to the uh, special advisor to the governor of transportation, Mr. Luatoni Fainka. The ban was instituted to prevent further violence at Idumota and environs. Um, now, the running battle between Oluomo and the national executive of the NURTW over the control of Lagos has been ongoing and has led to protests in which he, alongside his supporters, accused the union or at the national level of unnecessary interference in state affairs. All right. Uh, the disagreement between the state chapter and the national body was a fallout of the emergence of Alaji Aziz Abiola as a state chairman of the Tricycle Owners and Operators Association of Nigeria, 2 one an affiliate of the NURTW. Now, the Barua-led NURTW had directed Oluomo to inaugurate Abiola as a 2 one chairman and hand over the secretariat of the association to him which he allegedly objected to. Now, uh, Oluomo put out a statement on the 10th of March addressing, quote, the good people of Lagos, any RTW members, the state government, and necessary security agencies. Now, he says, I quote, we may not be where we ought to be, but we are not where we used to be. One would wonder one would now begin to wonder the cause of the recent and repeated crisis in the union the answer is not far-fetched it is because the national body has decided to illegally and unduly interfere in the affairs of the Lagos state chapter of the union i come Musili and you dear on behalf of a state administrative council sac state executive council sec members 
and the entire union rank and file members of the National Union of Road Transport Workers Lagos State Council with over 200 branches and zones hereby resolve to immediately withdraw our membership and oppression from the national body of NURTW for peace to reign in Lagos State and also write the state government, Lagos State Ministry of Transportation and other relevant agencies of our decision uh, to summarily ask the government to come in and uh, take over the union um in case you missed out on any part of that speech which i played to you uh, uh last week i'm going to play you a bit of that audio again so that you can hear it government about the state of affairs in our union being a law abiding and responsible citizen we have decided to explore all avenues for peace in the interest of all we will not support any action that can threaten the peace that we cherish so much in Lagos State. Therefore, I, Comrade Musiliu Aide Akisoya, on behalf of the State Administrative Council, SAC, State Executive Council, SEG, members and the entire union, rank and file members of the NUMTW, Lagos State Council, with over 200 branches, and zones ever resolved to with over 200 one, branches and zones immediate withdrawal of our membership and operation from the national body of NUMTW for peace to win in Lagos State. <laughs> and two, right to Lagos State Governor, Lagos State Ministry of Transportation, MOT, and other relevant agencies about our decision. It is important to state that our action is in line with Section 40 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1990, as amended, which provide as follow. Sorry, 1999 as amended, which provide as follow. A. Every person shall be entitled to assembly freely and associate with other persons, and in particular, he may form or belong to any political party trade union or any organization for the protection of his or her interests. This means that every person shall be entitled to join an association and exit freely without molestation. In view of this and the crisis at hand, Lagos State Government is hereby invited to consider its white paper on transport union activities, 2004, section 5C, which states that the government should take over the management of any garage or motor parks where there is crisis until such is resolved <laughs> by the consultative committee. So, there you have it. They called on the government to take over the parks uh, based reminding the state government of um, its white paper on uh, transportation matters. All right, 0700-993-993-993. Oh, you are on the road. You can tell me, is the suspension really, uh, has it kicked in or is it otherwise? Female callers, 0146-57190. Good morning, hello. Good morning. Thank you for calling. What's your name? My name is Meg. I'm calling from Kutuwekwe. Okay. This uh, this burden of uh, Luo Mo and the Abro in the room, it cannot help. It cannot help us in Lagos. So let them fight work for their first because we also are business people. Because if they push that people to the world, that's not any work or anything to them to have at hand. We are not safe. Hmm. We are not safe. This, this is not a good news. Let them fight something for them to do. Because all, all of them, all all the whole area boy, any boss up, they know business people. They know all those people that go and buy market and go back. If they do like that, you are not safe. Hmm. Thank you very much. Good morning. Hello. Hello, Wemino. Good morning. Good morning to you. How are you today? I'm well, thank you. Yes, I just passed the show now. Okay. And um, they are not in uniform. But you can see that um, they are still doing some, they are hanging around. Oh, so they pulled off their uniforms. Yes, yes. I just passed the show and you are not now. But I didn't it before. Thank I you. I also want to say at this point that them. Um, because of, for the sake of children going to school, I think Lagos State should, I mean, sit up and do something about this thing because they have already made some Olu a mediocre and it is not good for him. It is not good for Lagos. Hmm. It's for the sake of our children that goes to school. They should find something because if these people strike now, 
we don't know. Mm. And we can never tell when it would end. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for calling. And before I go on to take some more calls, we have a treasure hunt live right now. Are you excited about that? I hope you are because you're up to win 5,000 Naira before the end of this show. To do that, you should download the Nigeria Info app right now. If you already have it, it's time to hunt, gentlemen and ladies. Go into the app. Look everywhere. You're a hunter. What you're looking for today is the picture of the Nigerian coat of arms. The Nigerian coat of arms. That's what you're looking for. Once you find that picture, click on it, fill in your details correctly, and submit. The first person to do this will be my winner for today. I would announce the winner before I leave. You are up to win 5,000 Naira. You're looking for the picture of the Nigerian coat of arms in the Nigeria Info mobile app. Not on the Facebook page, not on YouTube, not on the website, on the app. Wish you all the best. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, this Friday from the Welcome to the show. You know, when you ask that question, when you discuss this on Friday, we are things where you know, who is going to enforce it. Actually, you know, they have this person, those that put on gray and white, and the one that put on yellow. Mm -hmm. But those that are put on yellow, they are seen on the road, where you know. But the one that put on green, they are off the road. So but those the ones that are put on yellow, who are they? What are they? What union? I don't even, I'm not a driver, and I don't know the, where they where they belong to. But the most funny thing about it is we they are now inside the street. Yesterday, oh. because there was so dark on the road along Bagagi Road, the uh, this police uh, bed that used to carry several passengers that carry us. He said that uh, that was around uh, five o'clock. He said that he has spent one thousand five hundred naira on the street where he was passing through the street. Oh, so now they moved into the street. Okay, good morning, hello. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Yeah, my name is ECJ. I'm calling from Ota. Welcome. You see, the, the guys are quoting the Constitution, freedom of association. It's nice to the ear. But that same constitution that allowed freedom of association was not explored, was not allowed to be explored by drivers. They compared to become members by reason of the forceful uh, collection of uh, dues. Mm. Now, I want to say something. For one, you see, this uh, happens is just an introduction because uh, I, pre I, I believe, I presume that in the next few weeks we'll have more drama on food. Mm. And the basic thing, the basic thing that has been, uh, uh, that, that, that they are fighting for is just the, the the, the 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 booty the 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 billions of naira that is illegally collected under the watch of the Lagos State government and other security agencies because every day minimum average of five to eight, ten security agencies come to collect their own due from each pack. Hmm. Thank you. Oh, dear, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you very much for calling, though. Remember to keep your thoughts within 60 seconds for me. All right, Philip is in transit and calling from here, from Lagos, I believe. Hello? Hello? Good morning, Philip. Welcome to the show. Go ahead. Yes, please. Um, this NULT people, um, I have a business at um, a brand is somewhere, okay. and um, we usually pay this, um, we, we are more like Uber, Uber boss, and um, we usually pay this Agbero weekly. Wait, wait, and, wait. wait. Um, what, what business do you do again? Okay. Transportation, we have this Uber bus. Oh, so okay. I just want to mention the name. So we have the branded Sonya. We use the mini shuttle bus to commit people morning and evening. So we, we usually pay these Agbero guys, you know, those ones there weekly. So, so why, why, morning, why, I'm sorry, one minute. Why do you pay them? Are you a member of the union? Did you? No, they've been, they've, they've been on our neck, you know, that we are, we are also transported and we are supposed to pay the weekly money, the loading, the, you know, we've written to M U M O T, you know, those things have been on it since October last year. And what did the Minister of Transportation say? They, they, you know, there's nothing they can do. You know, there was a time that even they, they, you know, they actually fought all our drivers, you know, beat them, that, you know, we are also picking riders that were supposed to pay them. And we huh. usually use app. We are making use of app to, you know, get people on our buses. So huh. this morning, you know, my, one of my uh, operation manager called and said, um, the guy that started, they don't want us to load, that we have to pay, that we refuse to pay on Friday for the ones that we, you know, we, we did. And um, because it's because of the news that's there. So just let me know those guys are still on the road. I have to tell the guy that you don't worry, just pay them because they're going to obstruct our operation this morning. So mm. just to inform me that those guys, they are still there. They are collecting the money. If you refuse to pay them this morning, this morning, they won't allow 
our bosses are the grandest to load. Hmm. So they are still Thank out you. there. Thank you very much. That's a big wow. Well, not a wow, but still a wow. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the show. Um, Great. Thank you. Please go ahead. See, all those people are still watching. I passed through Lekki this morning because I work inside Lekki. It was on Friday. The guy working in Lekki Gate he was still there. Bones are for Berlin Day. They are still there. See, the fact that we are happy that they are stopping them, at the same time, we are not safe. Hmm. Because once these people stop without giving them a job opportunity, they'll start coming inside the house to harass people. Won't be leaving home early as we do leave before. Hmm. So we are not safe, please. Thank you very much for calling. Hello, good morning to you. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. I, I just want to remain anonymous. That's fine. Anonymous. That's fine. But the reason why I'm calling is that 2023 is nearby. But this governor, he will see, will see with us in 2023. Because he will be saying something and he will not put his leg on the, on the ground. He said he has banned uh, And these people go from, go, go from Mikorodu to, to Fade. They are still on the road. Hmm. Where are these money going to? All these billions of naira they are calling me every day. I, I'm tired for this hmm. It's a shame on him. Well, thank you very much for calling me. Good morning. Hello. 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 Good morning. Good morning. What's your name? This is Joy calling. Yeah, please go. Ahead. I want to talk about uh, ASU strike. No, we're talking about the NURTWU right now. Okay. Yes, please. Before the government stopped there, why can't we find another alternative for them, like job, create a job for them? We are shouting already that these people are terrorizing people in Lagos State. Now we want to increase it. Let me find something for them, oh, please. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much for calling. I'm going on to Facebook now, from there to YouTube and then Twitter. I'm on Facebook where, oh gosh, so many comments. And Michael Amos says, these guys are still working along Kingdom Hall, Majek. They just removed the side mirror of the car I boarded, <laughs> but they were not in uniform. Hmm. Hmm. So nobody's checking them. Nobody's checking them. Robert Obasi. Um, this is seriously serious, he says. F. Young Sunday are still called. The suspension is not holding action at all. Um, these guys are still collecting money in my area. Ilewe bus stop, seven and eight bus stop, close to uh, Ajawa Estate. They're making transport fare to be increased unnecessarily. Are they tired about Mishade? Um, oh, come and stop it. Mark Donald, Abel, Imole, Ayo. Uh, they're always uh, romancing themselves because government... What's called government to cover means they're together. Niyi leads uh, Duyile. Suspension, suspending any RTW activities in Lagos is good, but handing the PAC's uh, activity to some selected few is just political power extension for an expected return of favors in due course. Uh, Oko Nelson Bobby, Ajatu Jakonde area, they are all there actively doing their jobs, but without uniform. Uh, Chijindu is watching from Kuba Abuja. Thank you for joining. Ola Jewel Ajamu, they are quick to court the constitution of the freedom of association, but they blatantly refuse this by forcing, uh, forcefully collecting dues from non-members. You see, I had a good laugh about this on Friday. It was really funny to me. Um, Obanla Ola Dele Oluwatosin says, Madam, they are still on the road wearing clothes but not uniform. Misha Kakwele, NURTW boys are still carrying out their regular activities from Mount 2 on the bridge down to a relay. That's my daily route. JFR, Chassi, Deho, the folks that put on yellow uniform that the caller mentioned earlier are task force members of the Lagos Taxi and Cabs. Uh, Oko Nelson also says the yellow color called uh, road transport worker, while the green and white is NURTW. Um, Kade David, um, let me see, all this is a lie. Yesterday I still saw people collecting money from Okada. Are they not part of the NURTW? They should remove all of them, both the ones putting on yellow and the ones putting on green. Uh, okay, they're affecting you. Um, I don't think this Sanwalu led government can do anything about this, says Balaji Lawal. And uh, finally, from here for now, Ade Dikbed Ade Niro says Lagos State is about to sell us to a gangster with the plan of Lagos State government. Things will get even messier. I'm on YouTube now. Femi Ade Nekon says our government is treating the NERTW with kid gloves. 
uh, when they suspend them, all what NURTW does is to put off their uniform and just continue with their activities at the parks and garages. <laughs> Olawale Samo now wow Agbe Recep don't get level for Las Giri he says what a pity I can't even believe we are even discussing this in the first we will discuss it because we are Nigeria info and the drivers the union members every one of them are Nigerians anything that's a Nigerian matter is fully our business on Nigeria info I've gone a short break a very quick break when I come back I'll take a few more of your calls and comment on the social media pages but that will be after let me take a few uh, from social media before I go Femi Adena says the ones that put on yellow are the road transport employer association of nigeria okay so they are not affected where are the drivers i used to i mean how is this affecting you paying dues i mean if they're not in uniform are, why are you still paying them i know right i know i'm just asking i know i know they're going to break your mirrors if you don't give them i'm on twitter at nigeria info fm uh let's see let me refresh this a bit give me a moment on this one all right, while I'm waiting. Good morning, hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning to you. Hello, good morning. Yes, sir. Welcome. What's your name? I'm Carl Samuel. Yes, please go ahead. Okay. Uh, to me, I think the new journalists are just making issue out of no issue. Tell me about it. Uh, I'm a commercial bus driver. Okay. And I'm a graduate. I graduated in 1993. Okay. When I lost my job, I started driving transport. Okay. Reason is that the uh, the set, the the center that's everybody to be at Abuja. Mm-hmm. Suspense will do or more. Uh, even they suspend them, they will have to be the caretaker to take over, and he doesn't want to leave. Mm-hmm. He now announced his withdrawal. And Lagos State is supporting Uduomo on the withdrawal. And now ban RSW from Lagos State. Mm-hmm. That does not stop Uduomo from the former NURTW. They are now former. They are no longer NURTW. Mm-hmm. From collecting the money, he only suggests suspend NURTW. And Uduomo has withdrew himself from NURTW. Mm-hmm. So that does not stop its people from collecting money. And that's why they are still on the road. Because they know if they don't susp- suspend their right to the W, they can be chaos. And they are in support of Uruomo in Lagos State. I, I need and to go on a break. I'm trying to get follow you to your bus stop, but I need to go on a quick break shortly. But I'm trying to understand why you think this is not an issue. And you think that journalists are making an issue of nothing. So why is everything you have said not an issue worth of conversation, sir? Yeah, yeah that's, that's, a, you know, that's why I'm saying it's not an issue. Why I'm saying it's not an issue is that mm-hmm. people are saying they are still collecting money on the road. That the society has no right to believe you. Mm-hmm. In Lagos State, as far as I'm concerned, there's no longer any right to believe you. So who are those what collecting is, money on the roads right now? Who are they? They, they are only more people. And so, they withdrew. On on yes. what on what right? What is what union are they? On what rights are they collecting money from drivers? It has not announced and if they are suspended, mm-hmm. if NRTW is suspended, mm-hmm. it, it was only almost uh, announced that he has withdrew from national body. Yeah, well, I'm asking you a simple question. If they've been yeah. suspended, the NURTW has been suspended. Let's assume yeah. I agree with you then so Oluomo is not part of NURTW. Then who yeah. are they? What is the name of their union? On what right do they collect money from drivers? That's that the that question we should ask. Uh, well, how do you now say that this is not an issue? I think you just uh, picked the wrong words to use. But I'm going on a break right now. I'll be right back to take a few more calls and go away. We report, you decide. Topical conversations that matter to you. There are people for personal, religious, whatever reasons who do not want to take a vaccine. And I think they have the rights. They cannot go to not to stop insecurity to force people to take vaccine. Let them come and kill me.
uh, is a suspension in full force. Uh, they left the parks and garages. The feedback we've gotten so far says the contrary. And it shows a no. It's still a free for all. Only that the union members, if I mean, some of them, they can sue me for saying it's the union members that are collecting money because we can't claim it. So we can say that some people, some ununiformed people, are still forcibly collecting money from drivers at parks and garages. I've been on this job so long that I know some, I know how to pick the words nicely. So we can say that some ununiformed, unknown, <laughs> unknown persons are collecting money at parks and garages. Who are these people? Can you confirm for me? Good morning, hello. Good morning, Obimo. Thank you for calling. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, your topic this morning is actually very laughable. Ah, well. Because I know the state doesn't have the political will to, aid, to be able to carry out um, this uh, NRD, uh, suspension. Um, this morning, coming to work, I see saw them on the road collecting money. So, who are they deceiving? Hmm. They are just trying to, you know, make it look like they are actually working because people are complaining about, you know, the NRIC people collecting money and, you know, this and all that. So they just try to see if they can do one or two things. See, women, it's not going to work. Hmm. I was just laughing. Hashtag Kole work. work. Yeah. I said hashtag Kole work. Kole work. <laughs> Thank you very much. Someone is confirming for me on Twitter. I like this very much. She sent in a picture uh, of someone in a green fez cap who's collect, trying to collect money from a driver. Uh, okay. Thank you very much for that. Who is that person? We don't know. Uh, Val Mekuz, Val Mekuz, that's your name on Twitter, says, when we more, people keep talking about finding alternative jobs for Agbiro before the ban. Who find job for me? Abi, now we say make them become Agbiro. They're just lazy. There are many legitimate jobs out there for them to do. Emperor Amide says a new institution was formed with the support of the Lagos State government. A few hours after the suspension of Oluomo, making him the former chairman of NERTW and the new general manager of Lagos. No, we don't know that he's a new manager. He's not the new manager of anything, at least not yet. The government debunked that. Um, there was a social media, there was a story going around that Uluoma was made uh, manager of the of park, whatever, but the government debunked it last week, Friday. Celestine Aba on Twitter, I'm not a transporter, just by the roadside at Charlie Boy bus stop running my POS. Here, the NERTWU are not on the road, though I saw some of them on Mufti, but they were not disturbing the drivers. Okay, thank you for that. Um, let's see. <laughs> I'm on YouTube. I'm going to check if I have a winner for the treasure hunt. I hope that you guys are playing the game and winning my money. Don't let me take it back with me. Femi Adeneko on YouTube. The, okay, yeah. I think you might have seen this before. Olawale Ikuomola. I think this is a ploy to further enrich the purse of MC because uh, the so-called suspension is on. Remission of funds will not be made to the national purse. Remission of funds will not be made to the national purse. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You're thinking good. <laughs> good morning, hello. Please put up your radio. Hello. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning to you. Yeah. Um. Concerning the these people on the road, they are still on the road. Though. Some of them are almost see. And um, but it's not as bad as before. Anyway. What do you it's mean? Better. They're not collecting money. Yeah, some of them are collecting money, but not that bad in this aspect of Awaya uh, Yai Bejulek area. Not that bad, but they are still on the road where okay. they are mostly and then still collecting money okay. from the buses. Okay, okay, that's yeah. good. Thank you very much for the update. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for calling. What's your name? My name is Tosi. Your name is Tosi? Yes, Tosi. Yes, please. Okay, please go ahead. Yes, I am actually on my way to work, and I can see some of them in Mosty as usual, and they are also, they are collecting money. But what I just want the government to do, because I'm very sure that the government cannot provide them job; they have to go look for a job, and this is what they've been doing. They don't have any other thing doing, so the suspension would not be effective, just because they don't have anything else they will do. Then that will make them idle, and this will have a very, very 
um, bad implication on in the 2023 election because they'll be eyes doing nothing if nothing is not done about it has happened. Hmm. Well, someone said on Twitter that nobody looks for a job for him. So why should anyone have to look for jobs for these men? They should go sort themselves out. I have a we now on the treasure hunt. I think I need my Shakira thing, right? Um, Oluwole Emmanuel Akimbo is our winner today. You f- were the first person to find the picture of the Nigerian coat of arms. Uh, Oluwole Emmanuel Akimbo, that's your full name. Uh, your Akimbo Emmanuel on social media. Congratulations to you uh, for finding the the picture. Hello. Good morning. Hello. I can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, welcome. What's your name? Yeah, well, my name is uh, Anthony from Keja. Welcome, Anthony. Yeah, I want I want to make a special complaint. Your phone managers are not doing this uh, station good. Why do you say so? At times they, you know, at times they will hold on to somebody's call for minutes, twenty minutes. They will move into another call. That is bad. Two, some people will have access to call up to two, three times. It's you occasionally you say no if you are called before, but somebody have been calling from morning till some certain hours. You will not be. It's very, very wrong. Mm. We 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 really well. Let me let me give you a response to that. So I don't know about holding the call because I don't see any. If a call is being held, I'll see you from here. And secondly, we we totally have no um no hold, no determination of how people call or who gets through. We don't know your names. We don't know your numbers. We just pick calls randomly. So we apologize well, if you've been held what up. I want to let you know. Occasionally, some people's call will come in twice. Why somebody calling from daily morning won't be able to get called? I, 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 I sincerely happen? do not know. In fact, I was asking. I was talking with a colleague of mine this morning. Sincerely, I'm, I don't joke with you. I don't know how it happens. I, I don't know. Something must be checked. Something. Okay. That is one. Okay. Two. Okay. I want to let you know this issue of national union. For me, I will call it an illegal association. The people that are supposed to make up this union are supposed to be the poor drivers that are driving on the road, and they are not supposed to be collecting dues on the road. Take example of our lousy drivers. You can't see anybody come on the road and begin to collect money from lousy drivers. They have lousy owners association. So what people do now to get rich in Lagos is if you have strength to go and fight or have champs or guns, go to a park. It's like a coup. Hmm. If you succeed in getting one park, you'll be made the chairman. From there, you'll go and admit yourself to national. Mm-hmm. Even the national too does not have any moral justification because they, they're not contributing anything to the society. Mm-hmm. They are not doing anything. Rather, they're just collecting illegal money from for poor people. I hear you. Thank you very much. You know, there's a thought I have. There are many unions. I won't say the union is illegal, but they're legit. I think they're, they're, they're backed by some whatever. But, you know, there are many unions. Tailors have unions. Um, I think practically every trade... Every every trade you can think of, they all have unions. But I do not think there is one union. Tell us, for instance, do you, your union, do they come to collect money per cloth that you sew? Every time you sew one cloth, they're waiting for you to collect due on that. Why is the NERTW collecting um, due, quote-unquote, for every every time a bus loads? That's the part I'm unable to understand. As a union, maybe they should be um, the members who should voluntarily join the union should possibly pay annual dues. You pay a due once a month, like every other union does. Why? Why is a you is any union collecting money per transaction that you do as a business owner? That's like telling every tailor that your tailor association would have a representative in front of every tailor shop, and every time a customer comes to you for a dress. You pay them something from the money you charge the customer. It doesn't make a sense. It doesn't make any sense. And I think that's where I wish the commissioner was able to join us this morning. I understand that they have exco meeting. I'll speak with him again after the show and see if we can get him on for tomorrow. The Ministry of Transportation, they're practically very elusive. I don't know what to do about those ones, but I'll try to get them here again. Because I want to know why a union has so much power that they collect money per transaction that a business owner does. It's my bus. I buy the full. I maintain the car. The parks and garages are supposed to be 
monitored and cared for by the local government. So why is a union collecting money per transaction from drivers? That's the part I do not get. Do you get it? Am I missing something? Am I missing a thing? Good morning, hello. Good morning, Wemimo. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Put off your well, radio. This issue of this union, I, my problem is even with the government. You know, they will implement a law. Okay, they have been suspended. And yet they are not ensuring that this thing is this uh, suspension is implemented. The mm -hmm. state government is fond of doing that. They will bring out laws when they get, particularly on this transportation. You know, the, the Okada drivers, they are there, the Marwa drivers, they will ask them, don't try this way. But they keep trying the roads and then they are watching them. So if you suspend these people, why don't you make sure that this suspension is implemented? Come out early in the morning or get security agents and then make sure that they are not collecting money uh, from transporters again. Well, that's a big thought. Now, I would like a few drivers to call in if you can, please. So, um, apparently now, there's the NURTW in the green and white. And then there is the uh, road transport RTA EA. And if I'm checking them out, you tell me those are the ones in yellow. Um, so, apparently, you guys do not have a problem with the RTEAN. Is that right? And then the dues you pay, do you pay one to RTAN? How do you guys call them? RTN? Is that what you call them? And another to NURTW? Where are the drivers? Please call in and let me fully understand what's going on here. So you don't have a problem with the ones in yellow. Your problem is, is with the ones in green. Is that right? Is that it? <laughs> Help me understand. Hello? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Are you a driver? I'm not a driver. I'm looking for a driver, so yeah, plus, well, go ahead. The issue is, this uh, move by Oluomo is political. Mm. They are preparing grant for 2023. Mm. Government cannot tell us that they have sacked Oluomo and the boys will still be on the road collecting money. Well, the report we hear now shows that that is what is happening. Ewa is on the line from Katie. Good morning. Good morning, Wemo. Thanks for calling. Yeah, this issue is uh, straight. But like in the case where they are still there, they are not on uniform, but they are on mufti and collecting it. Now, what about the enforcement? You announced for the suspension of something. Have the, have the state government enforced it through the police? No. Hmm. That's, it, that's it. And somebody was talking about uh, this, these people will be, uh, they will, they will could cause more minutes or whatever. Do you expect them to give up easily? So because they will cause more minutes, then the Lord we shouldn't do the right thing. It's just like the election. Nothing is free. Hmm. People stop having this kind of idea of uh, they will cause but who, who the other party who gave him work? Hmm. Who gave him work? Are you encouraging this to get them off the road? If they like let them go and see, build them, take more action. You don't you this thing will not be easy. Hmm. We have to also do a lot. Right, the, I government, hear. the government has to enforce this thing. I hear you. Thank you very much. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Thank you for calling. You're welcome. This is B.A. from Yaba. Yes. Um, I just wanted to say that we know that the Lagos State Government is not enforcing the law is not their area of expertise. They constantly say, we've, we've told them not to do this and the people do it. I believe you should follow the money. Mm. If, you, if it's possible to follow the money and see who gets what, We'll get some answers. It's obvious MC Oluomo and his people are untouchable. The government cannot do anything to them. They're like five and six. So nothing is going to happen. Follow mm. the money, Wemimo. I know you can do it. Oh, I've, you. I've actually done some of it. So I know, I okay, know so actually. Just, I know. So break it down and let's know. I mean, it shouldn't be a secret. Uh, no, it's not. A, I, I, it's open secret, actually. I mean, some of the money I've during COVID, for instance, during the lockdown, COVID is still around. I interviewed some of them at um, Yanowuru. Yeah, the side facing the Third Milan Bridge when you're coming up to uh, Lagos Island. There, the ones in green. I interviewed them uh, during the lockdown. You know, to ask them how business was going uh, now that there was lockdown, right? So I asked a few questions about uh, the money they collect. So apparently, some of the money they give to this there's a war lock I mean, it's open secret. There's a war lock that's the money for the police. Um, then I hear that part of it is given to the local government, right? So we all know that this is a cartel going on here. And I ask the question again, why is it saying 
ask me if I'm missing something for any union, whether it's the RTAN or the R any RTWU or any of the other road transport unions, because apparently there's more than one of them. Why is any union collecting money from a business owner per transaction? Is there any other sector where this happens, where you're a member of a union, whether possibly so, and then you're meant to pay per transaction? If I sew one cloth, my tailor association is waiting to collect due per cloth I sew. Vulcanizers, per tire that you pump, do you pay per tire that you pump? What are the carpenters, do you pay per chair you make? Electricians, do you pay per wiring you do? Uh, help me, I don't get it. So why is, this, why is this peculiar in the case of transport workers? Isn't this also a business for drivers? How has it become so normal that, yeah, you pay dues on a daily basis? Why do you even pay dues on a daily basis? Why are you not paying annual dues to your union? That's why there's a lot of money in the road transport union unions, and that's why they fight a lot, because there's a lot of money there. That's like the NBA telling lawyers to pay dues per case that they take up. No, they pay annual dues. Most un Almost every union, you pay annual dues. To show that you're a member of that union. But per transaction, makes no sense to me. Hey, Biaje Gunla is on the line. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Well, well, morning. Yes, sir. Uh, this is AB. Are you a driver? Abel. No, 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 no. Okay. I just want to contribute to what is going on. Now. Please go ahead. Because um, the way I'm seeing this country, Nigeria, we're in a time bomb. You see, this agbero of a thing, on Saturday, when I was going to, um, what is it called, Orege side, you see how much these people collected from this uh, driver on the road. The driver, in my present, they collected almost one five, just from boundary to Orege. And they are collecting all this money. I was just opening my mouth. I said, ah, hmm. how much will these people make in a day now? So that's this my question. Why? Saying, Why? It doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. Now, this thing now will create a problem. At Ojora Street here, at Boundary, there was serious fight. I asked. I said, why all these bottle? Why all these things here? Hmm. They said, ah, these boys, they fought here seriously. And it was because of this agbero of a thing. And if they want to move them away, let us ready as uh, Mexico. Huh. People will now begin to carry gun. Huh. and shoot themselves. Because even at where I'm speaking right now, the next street, I was there when they were doing party. I saw gone there. They mm. cover it with a bag. Mm. But I was with the uh, elderly woman there. I said, if I tell this woman that these people here, they are with guns, she will begin to be afraid. Uh. Uh. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> just, I just don't know what else to say. <laughs> so recently, I went to Ibado and I didn't take the train. I took a cab from from the park at uh, Ojota. A cab, right? Four 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 passengers. Have we? Um, we paid three thousand per person. That's twelve thousand error. In my very before, don't ever repeat that grammar. Right before my eyes. This driver paid 4,000 naira plus to the union people there. I said he collected 12,000 from, from us. He paid 4,000 naira. That's one third of the money he made. He has not bought full. 4,000 naira, he counted and gave them. The others were still hanging around to say, ah, oh, yeah, now nah, drop something. But he counted 4,000 naira from the 12. In fact, they removed it and gave him the balance, actually. 4,000 naira. Okay, um, we're not done with this conversation. We're far from done. I'm going to reach out again to the minister, uh, to the Commissioner for Information as well as the Minister of Transport again and uh, try to get them here to address some of these issues because, man, I'm telling you, uh, it's not making any sense anymore. And I, like we all agree, there's possibly um, a huge security challenge also uh, looming on our hands. I know that the um, the police did say last week that they've set up security alert, you know, so that everyone, uh, the police is on high alert uh, to forestall any breakdown of law and order. 
but I take that with a tiny pinch of salt uh, just in case. So when you're walking on the road, shine your eye, lick your back. <laughs> just saying, not trying to scare you. But we'll keep talking about this, all right? Uh, I need to go. The table I'm shaking, Abby, it has to be shaken. I mean, that's, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing. The thing is why they're collecting money per transaction. In the, I just thought about it now. Why? Why are you even collecting money per transaction? Anybody that has an answer for me or if you there's something I'm missing that I've, I, you, I've not found, please chat me up on social media. I'm there at Wemimo Sport. I need to go right now. Thank you for being a part of the show. Uh, I'm not leaving yet, though, because we need to break some more tables, some gender tables at 9 o'clock after the news on the hour. It will be time for table talk. We're talking domestic violence today. How do we end domestic violence in Nigeria? Let's talk about that after the news at 9. My name is Wemimo Adewini. Thanks for being here. I'll see you tomorrow 5 a.m. on the morning crossfire, but 9 o'clock for table talk. Tengawe. Three Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info.